hey besties welcome back to the channel make sure you got your wine your water or your rolling tray or whatever you need to tune in with me as most of you know if you look at my community post i'm having surgery at the end of the month so i will not be drinking wine i am drinking some crystal light i know that i have been mia for the month i have just been trying to get my mind right and make sure that i am in a good mental space to get surgery you never want to go into things like that and get put to sleep and not be you know in the right mind state so i've just been taking time watering myself took some time for my birthday thank you everyone for the birthday wishes i read all of them and i really do appreciate it y'all have been very patient with me and my inconsistency and <laughs> i really love y'all for that because i don't even i don't have a schedule i need to like make a filming schedule i want to start doing more commentary videos and like reacting to things like on video the way that i do on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram i am extremely active over there i post almost every day so before we jump into this video i would like to do my bestie shout out for the besties that were active in my last live stream i love you guys so much and thank you for the super chats here we have the loved one lucky losing and we have shireen bins Thank you all for the donations and to those who cash at me as well or donate to my buy me a coffee, buy me a glass of wine. They don't go overlooked. I see them all. Thank you so much. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, we can dive into this video. I'm gonna hit this As you can tell by the title, we are talking about the Met Gala and the VMAs. Talking about both of them in one video because it was basically one night and it was all a blur. You know when you see the couch, it's about to be a rant. I have nothing lined up for this. I did not pre-write anything. I this is I'm going into this blind. I saw bits and pieces of each um, event, like things that people sent me on Instagram or like just scrolling on Twitter and stuff like that. But I have not watched any full performances or really looked through the looks of the Met Gala. So this is going to be interesting. Let's start with the biggest annual link up okay i know we all probably saw the lil nas x tweet where he said the met gala was fun i love the part where they did the ritual it's so funny because i was having a conversation before he made the tweet about how the met gala is the ritual in plain sight because we get to see all of their outfits we get to see everybody who's attending we get to see all of their symbolism they get to do all, everything that they're doing then they get inside and we don't get to know what happens inside we might get a few selfies bathroom selfies that look like they were shot on an android when they all have like the newest iphones ever so it's a it's a lot going on in there and the tickets are thirty thousand a pop you know that there is some weird stuff going down like i and i know that people watching this are gonna be like okay but shelby what makes you think it's not a joke what makes you think that it's really an ritual it's the met gala it's been around for years uh -uh. so the first met gala was in 1948 right and it was pretty much just the fanciest halloween party it was created by a fashion publicist named eleanor lambert and yeah that's all cool right but the more I looked into the Met Gala, the more I saw similarities of the Rothschilds parties that they would have in France. The thing about the Illuminati, they're the most spoken of secret organization. People talk about it all the time. Everybody thinks they know everything about the Illuminati, all of us. And we really know nothing at all, but everything at the same time because they put things in plain sight. So they have these secret rituals but they're not really secret because part of the magic is you have to tell people what you're doing in order for it to manifest and for it to work. So they tell us, but they add jokes and they do all of these things and make you feel like you're crazy for believing in it when this is what they're putting in front of your face, right? So in December 1972, Marie Helene de Rothschild held a party at their castle in France. The photos from this party look exactly like the photos from the Met Gala red carpets. And it's like you can't even deny that these are the same rituals. Okay, so for starters, the invitation for the party was literally backwards and you had to hold it in a mirror to be able to read what it said. The dress code for the party was really simple. Men had to wear a black tie or a bow tie and women had to wear a long dress. He looks like a Bob Ross painting. And she looks like the Tin Man from The Wiz. Like, what are we doing? This party was more about bringing people with the same opinions together and strengthening organizational ties. She has on a deer head. 
wasn't somebody on the red carpet literally just there with a horse like on their like was it a horse head or like on on her dress because we're gonna go look at those looks too look at this table they have they're eating out of a baby head that whatever's on the table right there looks like the shadow figure it looks like exactly what kim kardashian had on on the red carpet the baby looks like a pumpkin the leg is ripped off like what is this why they show you every day that they eat kids like this is like the clear like hey he babies the apple hanging in front of her mouth and the little lizard on her thing the reptilians eat the apple eve who told eve to eat the apple like she has two heads one what in the american horror story is this and uh, speaking of american horror story the theme for this year's met gala was american fashion or whatever and everybody came looking like they were straight out of american horror story like okay we're just gonna mm. they arrange sex-based rituals and invite people who have the same state of mind as them even if it's not a real person on this table why like because if i walk into a party and like it's my friend's birthday and then they just have a bloody mannequin body i'm gonna start asking some questions the different masks for all the alter egos more antlers horns <laughs> the one eye cover we have audrey hepburn right here with a cage over her head honestly these also look like the table setups from the yummy video now that i've told you what i think the met gala is connected to let's go through some of these looks and decide if there were some rituals going on for the record anything that i miss because even when i miss she don't miss okay anything that i might miss here will be posted on my instagram or you know leave in the comments anything that y'all see that i didn't say like i love when i post on instagram and like i leave like the captions like really vague and then like you all point out everything that i was like i love that like yes so that's all i want like i just want everybody to think for themselves like i want us all to get to the point where it's just like you see it and you trust yourself you trust your gut you saw what you saw and that's it like stand on it because it took me a while to get there where i was like okay this is what i saw i don't miss and and like really confident and trusting my intuition so have that same faith in yourself you can still send me things and ask me like you know to confirm like if i see what you see i mean my word is not law but <laughs> yeah trust yourself and if, if you see it you see something and your gut is telling you something fishy's going on but sometimes like let's not get too caught up in the negative things and try to enjoy things still too because a lot of people write me and say like i can't enjoy my favorite things anymore you can still watch things you can still listen to music like uh, not that we're a lost cause but like we're grown-ups okay like it's more like make sure your kids aren't being brainwashed daily like we were work with them talk to them get them off those tablets like just we got to do better for the next generations because they are going to like i already see it like i know like these pandemic babies are different but yeah let's get into these looks <laughs> so first we have rihanna and a bowl of captain crunch i don't know what rocky was doing in one picture like he dropped it off like mom look what i can do like bro what took that off to still be mad regular she's pregnant i just wanted to be known here that i said it if not then okay but i think they're pregnant you don't know of course she's dripped in diamonds that so she is the diamond princess he has butterflies all over his suit the mk ultra and she's holding him like that i don't know why his hands are behind his back um it's giving me handler vibes you, like just keep him in line make sure that he doesn't say anything or do anything reckless tonight and like his eyes even though he has on glasses eyes look really empty like behind the glasses like i can just feel the aura a lot of them have empty eyes though like if you notice that's kobe bryant's daughter what is she supposed to be and why is she there because i don't know if kobe was vanessa's sacrifice there that that i i'm ready to talk about it because that was so sus to me that was like such a sus situation and they were they had it set up so that they wouldn't fly together in case something like that happened and, and i know the whole simpsons thing because he always frequently flew in his helicopter so it was bound for like you know somebody to make that joke that that would happen but like it's just weird it's just it was everything was just too and it's so sad that his daughter was like there like you know but it's just like i feel like there was some magic at play there and it backfired and the daughter ended up being a part of a bigger thing but yeah something is off there and nobody can tell me any different i don't know why she's here like what what <laughs> <laughs> she's giving Willy Wonka I'm sorry girl I don't this is not first of all this is not fashion police I don't know what I, I'm not even supposed to be but like are we seeing this and it's so not fair that all of these workers back here and everybody on the crew and like all the common folk gotta have a mask 
and all of these celebrities are walking around maskless just you know taking their pictures chilling like that's not fair vera wang is sucking the life out of millions of children somewhere like there's children in a basement getting the life drained of course she came in black and white i don't know who jeremy pope is i don't know if he's gay but like the men are getting more and more feminine and not that it's a good or a bad thing it's just a thing that it just is like the men are very very feminine now and it's like from having their nails painted the mannerisms and like the copying the I mean, men have always copied women to like make jokes they say women aren't funny but then like their biggest punchline is always copying women whatever i'm getting big alien vibes from everybody Haley steinfield been popping out with the symbolism crazy on her instagram lately you see like everybody's like an alien or like possessed kid cuddy with the panda eye bro like so not only do you have on a skirt and then you performed with that dress everybody was like oh no but he's paying homage to this and he was doing that and that da, 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 da. no this is MK Ultra he was gone for a while then he did that movie about the end of the world where he like sent a text out it like t turned into like this whole cyber attack and like it was the end of the world or whatever and then he went ghost again and now he's back with all of this heavy. His nails are painted, his hair is dyed, he has on a dress, and he has panda eyes. I know I did a video on here about like Illuminati symbolism and things to look out for, but there will be like a deeper one like in depth. But most of y'all probably know what panda eyes are and that's crazy that he would show up like that. This is not him, like he is in a trance, he's being handled. There's like this green vibe, again like this neon green alien. A lot of diamonds, you, you'll see a lot of diamonds at the Met Gala and diamonds they represent like s slaves. I wouldn't be surprised if they auctioning them off in the back, like <laughs> okay so we have Kim Kardashian here. She looks like a shadow person. This is really sick, like. <laughs> and it's crazy how they just dropped the new American Horror Stories and they brought back that whole like suit thing that they had and like it took over the whole girls being like that. And we all know Kim is the number one <laughs> beta sex kitten. There's articles going all around of her saying that she's building an underground bunker. It's driving her neighbors crazy. Then you have her dressed up like this you got her and kanye both of their profile pictures on instagram are blacked out right now kanye's only following people and all of their instagrams are blacked out what are they preparing for this is hunger games right now like they're setting us up for the end of something like like <laughs> and this is just them harvesting our energy and it's crazy erica badu another one look at this like this is crazy little baby looked so scared the whole night every picture i saw him and he looks like this like he looked scared and shocked like he had no facial expression like i don't know what they got him doing behind the scenes we got frank ocean running around with a alien baby the green hair again like i'm so i'm so confused Olivia Rodrigo looks really cheap and they're about to start sexing her image up because she's out of Disney and now she's moving into her own. Yeah, she's looking like a zombie in the eyes too. I don't know, this just looks cheap. Tiana always slays, she is so fire, but she's been, <laughs> I saw snippets of her and Normani's performance and they were doing a lot. It's crazy because if that was two guys up there, everybody would have been in an uproar, but because it was two women, satisfying the male gaze you know more neon green this alien vibe i'm telling you it's black and white neon green or straight showing up looking like an alien or pink blue and white for the flag or drenched in diamonds here we got aoc wearing a dress that says tax the rich while you're at the richest event surrounded by rich people like this made no sense to me i made a post about her on my instagram if you're watching this you've already seen it she's trying to make a political statement or whatever and it's not not working for me like my gut i do not like her i don't trust her so she can keep that over there a lot of non-binary fashion going on too like it's crazy like the men are dressed in like a lot of like feminine clothes and you have the women dressed more masculine not all but you know it's like a handful p davidson he's been in hella rituals lately he's called himself a sexy nun something along the lines of sexy naughty nun and this is terrible like i the black and white of course platinum blonde hair he's been going through some heavy mk ultra but i feel like willingly i think after him and ariana broke up he had nothing left to like you know 
he was just like all right well i'll take whatever i can get i'll do whatever i can take me now they might have sacrificed mac together megan is dressed like a vampire because she is a vampire and jennifer is still living inside of her if you haven't seen my jennifer's body video her and machine gun kelly he has the vampire bites tattooed on his neck they got the vials of blood everybody thinks it's a joke no they're so cute they're so cool they're so emo plain sight we got baby beyonce and her sister <laughs> chloe and hallie hallie is so that face chloe has a demon inside of her they're both beautiful though but like chloe there look look at her eyes bro like look into her eye like and she goes from literally looking like this like a whole sex demon to being like a little puppy that's like so shy it's irritating people are like oh she's just being you know, this is empowering she's just coming to her own no there's always a reason there's a there's always something like underlying behind wanting to you know be more like this and they got her under good okay like she is ah, i can't wait to get to that performance because what and hallie is the little mermaid so i'm sure disney got her going through some rituals but we won't know until after her contract is up and she's no longer a disney princess because like they literally like their contracts are airtight like they have to remain like under this kitty like lens until you know their stuff is up donatella versace of course with the inverted pentagram on her top like it never fails with these people i'm giving big baphomet and i hear crazy things about her all the time so i'm not even a little bit shocked by that lord looks like some type of fertility statue or something the biggest handler <laughs> she pawned off her own kids bro like uh like oh my gosh chris knew what she was doing and she always wanted to be with a black man all of them do they just suck the energy <laughs> but you know chloe's daddy is black then we have carolyn maloney who is a politician and she had on this dress that said equal rights for women but if you look at the w it has an x in it and in like a symbolism x is another representation of the mark of the beast again they have the workers wearing masks the elites get to walk around and breathe freely they push that everybody had to be to attend this it symbolizes big events death mark of the beast it be so much symbolism with these people but whatever i'm over that i just hope that y'all know that that was one big ritual that we will never know what goes on inside because they're not allowed to talk about it. It's like Fight Club. And the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. They sneak their phones in and they take the little selfies in the bathroom and then that's about it. And then we have like trolling tweets, but who knows? So I want to jump into these VMA performances and see what y'all was talking about and what y'all wanted me to see because my DMs were going crazy, like crazy. <laughs> Everybody's like, are you watching the VMAs? I'm like, no, no, it's a Shelby day. I, I, so I have not watched it. I've, I'm going in blind right now, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start off with Chloe. Off rip, the fact that the name of the song is Have Mercy and the name of their big album was the Ungodly Hour, Forgive Me. And they were saying, pray for forgiveness. Don't ask for permission. Like that whole album that whole everything was full of full of symbolism like they they're gonna get a video of their own uh okay yeah i'll do that what does that have to do with the song it, she just this is her opening up her vessel to let in her demon i don't know if beyonce is sharing sasha with her but we've seen american horror story you see how like when they put on that suit and they zip up they become whatever demon is attached to that suit that she just summoned a, a whole nother being onto herself there we go And you know what I hate? They're making it seem like Medusa was some type of succubus that was like going around luring in men or whatever. These men her and she turned them to stone because they her. Like, what are you like? Th she was not just going around. Oh, I'm eating boys and turning them to stone. What is this? And what does that have to do with the song? 
What was that? That is, that's, that's Sasha. That's, that is Beyonce's demon. That is literally... She has a whole tampon on right now that keeps showing. At first I thought it was just like lining of something, but that is a tampon string. She's burning the old version of herself. The demon is attached. She's gone. The same thing when her and Hallie went solo. They burned the C and the H. Now they're, she's burning Chloe. She's gonna have an altar. She's gonna have some type of alter ego or something. That'll come out soon that she has a new, that that's not her that comes out on stage, just like how Beyonce and all that stuff. Like it's. <sighs> she looks terrifying. She sounds amazing though. That is literally a demonic possession. Like what are like what, what in the Amityville horror, bro? Like are we in the middle of a pandemic or are we in the middle of a pandemic? Like, why is she licking microphones? That's a demon, that's not her. She doesn't even, bro, y'all see the way she operates when she's not on stage? That is a, there is a succubus inside of her. That This is not normal. That is a whole tampon string. All right, and the whole reason I'm even focused on that is because I need, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my. I remember seeing this article that said how menstrual blood used to be the most sacred substance on earth and like how it had like healing powers and like all of these things. And uh, for the Illuminati, one of their biggest rituals was drinking menstrual blood for youth, like literally to, for immortality. Let me see if I can find it. For women, when we're on our menstrual, like, we are so powerful the veil is so thin and that's why like a lot of us like we are like very emotional and like you feel more intuitive and like sensitive to things because the veil is very thin and for her to be up there performing this ritual while she's menstruating is really big like yoni worship one of the most important rituals was preparing a drink of immortality made from menstrual blood which is full of healing stem cells which can actually activate our cellular capacity to regenerate and transform transport us to indoctrine states of rapture or in a spiritual sense open us up to the frequency of love and eternal life women born many many thousands of years ago in what we might have called original innocence before our genetic capabilities went offline held this power naturally as a birthright shared with their tribes and renewed rituals and i'm not saying that she can control when she's going to have her period and all of these things or whatever the case is but this the, the fact that she's up there while she is and she's inviting these spirits into her and there's a war on the womb right now there's a war on women they are banning which is just gonna lead women to go get them illegally and unsafely and it's really counterproductive at this point like I'm all for defunding Planned Parenthood because we know that that was built by eugenicists that only wanted to depopulate black people um but yeah nobody likes to talk about that part of it I cannot believe Miss Chloe girl Oh my god. I guess let's go a little Nas, right? Yeah. I don't even care about them being gay. Uh, I just feel like it's counterproductive to have all these black men in jail. Just in general. Like Montero prison. And then to have it being like this gay fantasy of him being around all these naked guys in jail. It's just like, it's just stupid. Like literally all gay stuff aside. It's just... Why is that what we're promoting right now? Like is that... Like... This is some of this fantasy about what jail is like. Okay, twerk. I've never heard this song before. What I don't understand is why every time he does something, like, or just... <laughs> It, anytime he does anything actually but like whenever he does something gay everybody is like in shock and they're like oh my god he's being gay. like 
why don't y'all just let a gay man be a gay man like we know he's a gay man he sometimes really strikes me as like a straight person like pretending but i don't i don't know that's that's for a whole nother day but also that's like my own um probably like projecting of like what i think of how i feel someone should present because of how we've been you know programmed to think so but i don't know he just gives me like straight vibes but he, you know that that could be from all his years of masking and not being himself who knows but yeah like every time he does something gay he's like oh he's being gay he's posting things he's doing like yeah there's a lot of agendas being pushed but i mean you can't be mad that he has gay men dancing with him. This is what I meant. Not that he's not gay, but like this level, I feel like it's not comfortable for him. Like this is just like Chloe. They're forcing, not forcing, but like they're putting this pressure onto them to be like these symbols and it's like this is not it like every artist doesn't have to be that it just seems so forced and like inappropriate like because kids love award shows at the end of the day like that we used to stay up for that wait for this and it's not about it being gay for the kids it's just this in general if this was men and women doing this in a shower it would just not be okay like it's too much cardi in her video and on the stage kissing and making out and doing all that that's not cute it's not okay that was four minutes that i'm never gonna get back machine gun kelly man i don't even know where to start with him but he is losing me right now okay like he's just giving me the biggest weirdo vibes him megan courtney travis like all of them they are just doing too, way too much for me let's see what this is paper cuts already starting off like what are you jesus yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Signed a deal, now I got paper cuts. He literally, he's, oh my gosh, he sold his soul and he's bleeding on the page. Like, he made a blood pack. Like, it's so... I'm extremely uncomfortable. Everybody, like, I don't even want to finish watching this. I'm not even gonna lie. Everybody's in hell right now. Like, everybody's burning. Everybody's at a grave site or in some type of prison. Like, they are, they are showing, oh my gosh, they are showing out. And it's not, these are not the artist's ideas. These are the ideas of the people. Like, oh my gosh. We got Sway Lee and Alicia Keys. He's throwing up the horns. Of course, he has horns on his hat. Tiana Taylor and Normani. They are giving me either the Freemason compass or an inverted pentagram. It's given a whole lot of ritual, though. I'm going to tell you that. It was very over-sexualized per usual. I did see that. And then last but not least, we have the looks from the VMAs. Megan and MGK are vampires. Um, Charlie XCX sold her soul. She will not stop telling us that she sold her soul and she's not going to stop i guess her album dropped let's see how it went for her with all of the stuff that she was telling us and you know spreading on tiktok more alien stuff everybody's dressed in black it's either vampire alien what is going on with nick cannon like he is not okay in the head like since they started to take away his show and did all of that stuff like he is not okay like he's making a bunch of babies he's doing he's looking like young pharaoh right now like i don't know what's going on both of them lost their minds like he, i'm telling you you cannot be strong and have your own opinion and stand on it ten toes in this industry you can't once you try to do something that is a little bit conscious or um like for the betterment of your freaking people you're out of here you're done and they will silence you and now look now he's looking bugged out i don't like it got the upside down cross i don't know what chloe is supposed to be yeah like it, even here like you can see right here that this is her without the demon like this be either before the yeah like before her performance or whatever the case was and like she looks normal 
before she let that demon enter her body and the demon followed her to the Met Gala. Sweetie is giving Marilyn Monroe beta kitten. Even Chloe, her blonde locks and programming, that's why she's so overly sexualized right now. It's the Marilyn Monroe, you know, effect. Kim Petra is another one and she's in the actual suit, like the leather suit. I'm telling you guys, like this is literally, this is the Hunger Games. They're preparing us for some for the apocalypse something like it's like they are setting us up it's monster house this is coven hotel like literally where gaga had the kids eat, uh, drinking blood and eating people like it's all connected and you can't you can't tell me that it's not doja always looks like a freaking alien of some sort Lil nas is just terrible that was a terrible outfit you see the, the sean mendez he looks so is that a romper like do they have a romper on him and he's not gay so it's just like you're making all these men very feminine is that normani she looks so cheap she looks so cheap bella porch this is her big yeah this is yeah the outfit is given underworld like it's just she don't like her video for bill literally she was that was them showing you how she got cloned yeah everybody was pretty much dressed in black and dressed like a vampire like this is insane so i had already told y'all on instagram that i really didn't have that much to say about this but y'all kept saying make a video so uh here is your video how did you guys feel about that i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> my commentary i don't know i really it's hard to like point out certain symbolism and things when you know that everything that you're watching is a ritual so it's like it doesn't really matter to pinpoint each little one because you know the bigger picture you know so sometimes it's easier when you're just like sitting down making a post like writing it out and you're like looking at every little thing when you're watching a video and like it's just like wow like this is really what they're doing and they've been doing in our faces this whole time <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for being here with me thank you for watching and Thank you for sharing all of your amazing energy with me all the time. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go do that right now. If you're not following me on Twitter, what are you doing? Do that right now because Twitter is where it's at. So yeah, if you're done with that, then you can exit the video and I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.